All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy True and Fun over here. Today's day is October the 5th, and I am out at Dearborn at the rec center and really i'm close to the king boring field rather there's a baseball or really a softball game going on that array you know what else is going on that array pokemon go so yeah pokemon go is going on and the reason why i'm out here is because there are a lot of gems out here and it's funny because a number of weeks back hybrid mongoose did a video about how these gems were not necessarily like getting in and raiding and spinning the Pokestops and battling and things of that nature. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about instead are these right here. So the badges, like, yeah, they brought the badges in, but how do they work? Not a lot of people, not a lot of YouTubers did a video about how these badges work. They did not explain how these badges work. Hyper Mongoose did. And basically he said the same thing. Like he have not seen a YouTuber, a Pokemon Go YouTuber, explain how these badges work. So I'm going to reiterate what he said. And he also made a mistake in his video because I'll get to that later on. But as you can see, as we go through my list, I got a number of badges here. The majority of them are bronze and this is by recent. So whatever badge I recently got, which would be reaching the moon. I guess, yeah, we, we have a badge I recently got, that would be a top, I don't know how this shorting worked for recent, but let's look at points. I got four gold badges, originally it was three, but on my way here, that Rouge Park badge went to gold, it went from silver to gold, right now I'm looking at the Dedication Boulder, that's my next one that would go to bold, and Kingdom Builders, that's the next one that would go to bold, I don't have a Pokemon there yet, I gotta remember exactly, oh I know where it is, I know exactly where it is. I'm going to check that out, see if I can leave a Pokemon in there, and then turn into gold. But that brings me to the question. How do you get gold badges? Well, I'm going to help you guys out by putting all this to work. So, here's what we're going to do. Right now, it is a Hound Duel Nest here. So, that's a good thing. But we ain't focusing on the Pokemon. We're focusing on the gym. I'm going to catch Pokemon with this little bad boy right here. But we're going to focus on the gems, how you can get a gold badge. So, yeah, let's go. Walk with me. Alright, so we're near the gym, which is at King's Boring Field. And I thought there was a game going on here, but actually it's just practice. So, let's see what we got here. So, this was a Valor Gym, but then some, a four Valor Gym, but somebody showed up and turned it into an Instinct Gym. And actually, they turned all of these into Instinct Gyms. We're going to change that. Let's go in this one. They put in a really high Dragonite in here. You think that's going to stop us? You, you think that's going to chase us away? No. So basically, one way to get your badges up is to battle these gems, which is what I'm about to do right now. So this is going to take some time to battle and beat because this is a extremely high Dragonite, a high CP Dragonite. So, oh, this is the Mob Squad 313. Oh well, sorry about your luck, man. <laughs> yep, there we go. And it went down. So look at that. So I got 30 points towards this gym. So we're going to go in and battle it again. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be two more times. So we just beat it and we got 21 points that time. So that's pretty interesting. Apparently you're not going to get the same amount of points you get every time you defeat that same Pokemon at that same gym. So. And actually, here's what I think that is. Because when we first battled this Dragonite, it had a CP of 3,000. And remember, my cloister had a CP of 2,000 and something. So that's why we got a lot of points. But when we brought its CP down, we got less points because it was around the same CP as my cloister. And we probably gonna get less points here as my Go Plus is going off. And oh, we got some lag here because I'm like, uh, he should be down. There we go. I'm about to say that. I'm like, why we got lag? Oh, look at that. So it only took three tries to get it down. And we got it down as Dilbo Police drove by. So not only do you get points towards that gym for battling it, you also get points for leaving something in it. So we're gonna take a page from their playbook and put in a dragon out of our own. No, we ain't gonna do that because I don't have any good ones left that I wanna leave in there, that is. So instead, we're gonna put in a Tyranitar. And let's go with the. 2076. I got a lot of these Tyranitars. Alright, so that's one gem down. So look at that. I got 100 points for putting something in this gem. And you get more points the longer it stay in the gym. Now, another way you can get points 
I thought the cops was pulling up. Another way you can get points towards these gems are feeding the Pokemon berries. So I got 21 Nana berries. So I'm going to feed it and then it'll have full CP. But you can keep going even after it has full CP. And you can feed it up to 10 times. And that's per Pokemon. So imagine if I had six Pokemon in here. Obviously, I can't put six in there myself. But if there was five other Pokemon in here, I could feed all of them. 10 berries each so we're talking 60 berries not a hundred like hybrid mongo said in his video because as the giant u-haul just drove by being loud as heck as hybrid mongo said in his video his mindset was or what he said was you could give a hundred berries to these pokemon per 30 minutes that's not true because i think because he was thinking about how the gyms used to be where you could have up to 10 pokemon in the gym at the time that's probably where he got that from, but it's actually six. So six times 10 is 60. 60 berries per 30 minutes. So that's how that works. And I'm getting messages on this course. I'm still, oh, I gave it 10 already. So I can't give it no more. But if there was other Pokemon in there, I can feed them. So we're going to move on to these other gems. I'm going to explain more about how these gems work. So yeah, stay tuned, y'all. Notice how my hand is blurry, but my face is not. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Check out the lighting here. <laughs> All right, so we add another instant gym. And I actually just met one of the guys who are running around, you know, taking these gyms over, leaving Pokemon in here. So this is probably going to be the last one I'm going to take for the night, just to be nice. So let's get back to how to get gold badges so we talked about battering gems taking over gems leaving pokemon in gems and also feeding these pokemon that are in these gems but there's one more thing you can do to really really get a lot of points towards getting these gold badges and that's raiding you know go out and raid these gems so i'll give you the perfect example this is the dearborn post office and right now it's a badge you don't start off with the badge you start off with nothing like if you get that gym badge for the first time it won't be a, a bronze immediately rather it'll be nothing like it'll be no type of metal at all it'll just be nothing here is almost at silver which is crazy because i did not take over the gym i did not feed any pokemon at this gym i don't mess around with this gym as i'm getting emails i don't do none of that all i do here is raid all I do is raid, 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 no matter what. <laughs> I'm fooling, but yo, that's all I do here. I just raid here, and look at it. It's already almost silver. But let me give you a better example. And the better example is this one right here. Yo, get your level badge. Y'all should know about this one, because this is that sprint store where I did the EX raids and got them two Mewtwo's. And look at this right here. It's already at silver. I have not done anything with this gym like again i never left pokemon there i never took it over i never fed berries there it's all there time to finish zero treats zero victory zero i did nothing with this gym and yet is that silver so raiding will get you a lot of points so if you raid at these gyms in combination with battling these gyms defending these gyms and feeding these gyms yeah, you're going to get up to gold in no time. It's going to take a while. Matter of fact, let's look at my gold, my four gold right now. River Rouge, for example. It took me, let's see, they'll load up. There it is. 20 days before this mug became gold. I will admit, at these four gems, see, this one's 39. At these four gems, I don't raid there because they're not at a popular spot. They're not at a popular spot, rather, where you go and raid. So I had to do it the long fasting raid, you know, the long way. And look at this one, 67 days. Well, this one's by my house, so I always have this down. So, with these four gems right here, I always battle, leave Pokemon there, feed them berries, and things of that nature. And then some of the ones closer to the top, that's what I do. Now, the ones that's like in between, I just raid there, that's it. And then mostly Dillborn gems. I don't really battle or anything like that at these Dillborn gems, but that's gonna change. That's gonna change. So, and you're probably wondering, why is it so important to get these gold badges? Well, imagine if today is your seven day streak. You're about to go to a gym to spin that Pokestop at that gym. And it's a gym that is in your color and you have a Pokemon at that gym. Guess how many items you're going to get? You're going to get around to 30 items. That's a lot. 30 items? 
on your 7 8 Street? In my case, when I did it last, I had 31 items. And then, like, if you go to that gym, your Pokemon's there, or any other day, you're gonna get a crap ton of items, like seven, eight, something like that. You're gonna get a lot of items every time you spend that gym. And on your seven, eight streaks, you're gonna get a crap ton of them. That's why gold badges are important. So, let's take down, I think my Pokemon slots for it, my gold plus is going off like crazy. But let's take down this gym right here. This is gonna be tough right here. I took down this gym, but apparently I had some help here. So, at the final moments, I saw somebody bring in a Jolteon, so I don't know who did that, and then they brought in a Rhydon here. So Henry Flowers 14, whoever that is, man, thanks for the help. Like, really, thanks for the help. That's basically how you do it. So you raid, you battle, you defend, and you feed. That's the four things you need to do in regards to getting gold badges for your gems. And once you get gold badges, the number of items you get when you spend that Pokestop, at that gym that is, will be enormous. It will be a large amount. So that's why gold badges are important. Now before I sign off, there's one more thing I want to talk about. And we'll do that in a second. So yeah, let me feed these guys berries and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So yeah, stay tuned. So that will do it for this video of my Pokemon Go adventure. Now, like I said, there's one more thing I want to talk about before I get out of here because I think it's trying to rain now. So that's pretty interesting. And if you go on YouTube and you probably experienced this on your way towards this point, towards this video, towards this channel. So let me explain to you guys what is going on. So if you were to go to YouTube, as you see over there, and type in True Infernal Pokemon Go adventure, like I did here. You're going to find my channel, and then you're going to find my live stream video. But underneath that, you're going to see this. Epic Hack. So this was by Lori Whoever. I ain't going to give them full credit. Now, there was more than these. There was more of these. But that's the only one out right now. And it's weird because they use the same titles that appeared in my video. But like if I click on this one, it's something to do with apphack.online. Where you can actually, as hope yeah, yeah, you can the music just put me off. Where you can actually hack the game to get coins and things of that nature. I have nothing to do with that. I don't know who this is. When I first discovered this, there was a number, a number. Will you shut up? There was a number of these videos and a number of accounts. So it wasn't just one account doing this. No, it was a number of accounts doing this and they all had videos about this app hack crap and they all had my titles in it. I don't know why, I don't know where they came from, but I have nothing to do with it. You know, I have no sponsorship, I have no affiliation or anything like that. So if you look up True and Fun of Pokemon Go Adventure, you should see the channel first. Click on the channel. Do not click on any of the videos. Just click on the channel first which should be me holding a Pokeball in my hand. And then, once you go there, subscribe and things of that nature, then you can check out the videos. So that would do it for this video right here. It's actually trying to rain now, so I'm gonna call it a wrap right here, man. Y'all know who this is. This is your boy, the new Jay Gatsby, AKA the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Gotta reach way high for this.